What is happening, DJ Talk family? How y'all doing today? Welcome to the 78th episode of DJ Talk. Now, before we get started, I would like to take this time to send a shout out to everybody that had a great, great Women's Day. And shout out to all the ladies out there that enjoy Women's International Day. This past Friday. And I just that. But also hope you all enjoyed yourself. Enjoyed your day. Because that day was special. It was a special day. Especially for my mother. And happy Women's Day to her also. And the ladies in my family. Thank you. Just thankful for having them around in my life. Thank you. I'm thankful for that. So to all the ladies out there. Hope you all had a great time and hope you all enjoyed yourself. But most importantly, hope you all have a great week for the new week. And hopefully you have a winning week and have success in whatever you want to have success in. So make sure to keep doing what you're doing and let's have a winning week. And like I said before, let's have a good year and a positive year. Hashtag winning season. So if you're new to this channel, allow me to welcome you to D Nation family. Excuse me. Sit back, relax, enjoy. But most importantly, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and turn on the bell for notifications and many more episodes and many more contents to come so stay tuned for more of those so without any further ado let's get right to it in today's episode we're going to be talking about a new topic today very great very interesting topic that we're going to speak about today and it's called how to end frustrations hmm very interesting, should I say, huh? Oh yeah. So what does it mean to what does it mean to end frustrations? You know something? That is a very interesting question, you know? It means that if you are feeling frustrated, it's essential to get to the bottom of these emotions and find ways to cope. You can deal with frustrations by reminding yourself that it's a temporary emotion. Finding ways to distract yourself. Using mindfulness to focus on the moment without judgment. Good meaning right there. Good signification of that meaning. There are multiple steps on how to end frustrations. And you know what? We are going to get to the bottom of this and we're going to look at it together. And it goes something like this. Number one, prayer. If you feel that everything that you're doing is not working out for you and you feel so frustrated, you want to break things, harness that aggression and make your point across by doing damages and doing damage and all that. If you think that's going to work, guess what? You're mistaken. The, here's the key to the solution. The only way to get rid of frustration is by prayer and calmness. Which we're going to get to the second step in a few minutes. It is Calm and prayerness. It is the only way to get rid of frustrations out of your life and move towards the path that you want to be in. Remember this always. Prayer always works. I'll repeat it again for the people in the back that didn't hear it for the first time. Prayer always works. If and only if you believe it. Number two, just like I said before. Calmness. It is important to remain calm in every tough situation and difficult moments. When it comes to a frustrated situation, you have to remain calm and not lose your cool. 
nor lose your confidence. I'll say it again. It is important to stay calm and not get too emotional about it. So, in times like these, stay calm at all times. Number three, think happy thoughts. At first, it can be frustrated and it can be discouraging. But in times like this, we need to think happy thoughts. And once you do that, everything that bothered you will go away in a heartbeat like that. You will live a happy But happy, 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 happy moment in your life. (laughs) Number four, my personal favorite. And to me, I consider this an idiom right here. And it goes something like this. Put a lid on it. When your emotions get the best out of you, it's it's better to put a lid on it. And save yourself from disaster and save yourself from regrets. So that way you will be all right. And you will put a lid on it. I'll repeat it again for the people in the back. Remember this. Put a lid on it. Which that was the last step, by the way. Most Last but not least, step number four. Put a lid on it. <laughs> I like that. There are a few quotes that talks about ending frustrations, and it goes something like this. Number one, Kurt Vonnegut says, Laughter and tears are both responses to frustrations and exhaustion. I prefer myself to laugh since there is less cleaning up to do afterward. Number two, Jason Maras says, Transformation is my favorite game, and in my experience, anger frustrations are the result of you not being authentic. Somewhere in your life, or with someone in your life, being fake about anything creates a block inside of you. Life can't work for you if you don't show up. Up as you. I like this part right here. Let me repeat that again. Some life can't work for you if you don't show up as you. Number three, Donna Barr says, Guys always think tears are a sign of weakness, they're a sign of frustration. She's only crying so she won't cut her throat in sleep. So make nice and be grateful. Very interesting words right there. Wow. Excuse me. Number four, R.A. Salvatore says, Nostalgic. Nostalgia. Is a necessary thing. I believe. A way for all of us. To find peace. In that which. We have accomplished. Or even failed to accomplish. At the same time. If. Nostalgia. Precipitates actions. To return to the fabled. Rosy painted time. Particularly in one who believes in his life to be a failure. Then it's, it is an empty thing. Doomed to produce nothing but frustration and an even greater sense of failure. Number five. Steve Mariboli says. You're frustrated because you keep waiting for the blooming of flowers of which... You have yet to sow the seeds. Number six, Ashley Lorenzana says, There is nothing worse than having an enemy who is a total loser. 
It's incredibly frustrating when seeking revenge against one. Because you come to the realization that there is nothing you can do to make the person's life worse than it already is. They have nothing to take. There is no way to screw them over if you have been their victim. It's maddening. Maddening, I say. I had to use that line, but you know what I mean. Number seven, Eric Hoffer says, Our frustration is greater when we have much and want more than when we have nothing and want some. We are less dissatisfied when we lack many things than when we seem to lack but one thing. True that. Number eight, Hubert Selby Jr. says, all the energy of their frustration and fear going into going into their laughter. Number nine. Chris Jamie says, constantly stopping to explain oneself may expand into a frustrating burden for the rare individual. So seizing to do so is like finally dropping the weights and sprinting towards his goal. Those who in sincerity misunderstood, who intentionally distort the motive of a pure intended individual, they no longer have the opportunity to block his path. Instead, they are the ones left to stand on the sidelines, shouting frustratedly in the wind of his trail. And last but not least, number 10, Lamani Snicket says, Frustration is an interesting emotional state because it tends to bring out the worst whoever is frustrated. Frustrated babies tend to throw food and make a mess. Frustrating citizens tend to execute kings and queens and make a democracy. And a frustrated month tend to bang up against light bulbs and make light fixtures all dusty. So you see, my people, if we learn to end frustration, end anxiety, and also end bad moments in, your, in our lives and move forward towards our destination and continue on our journey to achieving greatness in life. I have a confession to make now that we're talking about ending frustration, now that we're talking about that, when it comes to actually talking about it, it's the time to make a bit of a, a story, you know, like talk about the the times that happened. So like I said, I have a confession to make. Yes and yes, I will admit it. I had some tough times and frustrating and frustrating moments in my life. And even though it wasn't easy to overcome it, but in reality, it took a lot of effort and prayer to overcome frustration and most importantly, overcome bad moments in my life. Even though I want to get rid of it, even though I'm still working on it, I still want to get rid of it. And I hope and pray that always that it will never return. The frustrations will never return in my life. I guess you heard these old saying that goes something like this. We are not out of the woods just yet. So sometimes recovering and healing. Well, even though I was going to say the other part, even though sometimes recovering takes time and and the healing also takes time as well. So I wanted to say that before I wrap up this episode. So with that being said. I want to thank you guys for the love and support. I appreciate it so much from the bottom of my heart. I truly, truly appreciate it so much. So, with that being said, I said it again. Stay tuned.
for the next episode of DJ Talk. Peace out and have a pleasant night. Thank you guys for your support. Thank you. Love you guys. Come on, let's go. Yeah.